All right, last one here for this session. We're almost at 90, yay. But we're going for 100. So let me get through my all my intro stuff, and then we'll get to the goods comment. Hello and welcome to AA, episode 89. Thanks for tuning in here today. It is quite a joy for me to be able to speak in this casual discussion today based upon an atheist comment that I've selected from off the internet, which includes my notes to guide me along for the sake of time. And still, we take forever on. Very impressive. Or not. Who knows? We got the best budget show, clearly. No, <laughs> we're not. I self jab. Um, I'm a former atheist who got saved in the lead up to the Y2K scare. I would have preferred that to the Mayan calendar one because I probably. I, I might have refrained for to align with something else for my own gain so boy oh boy talk about lucky dog and then uh usually verse but we're doing thomas jefferson comment for the third time just as a nice little intro edition a government big enough to give you everything you want is strong enough to take everything you have boy oh boy I, seeing that, it, it just it just flashes your mind. Socialism, socialism, socialism. But maybe he was referring to something else, specific, specifically. All right, let's get to the comment. Let's wrap this up. I'm trying to do these in five minutes. How on earth are these taking so long? If I did, if I cranked them out five minutes. I could do so many more. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. All right, here's the comment. So Cain and his sister was okay. You are really sick to teach this to children. Boy, oh boy. That is one of the popular things. That is one of the popular things. Outside of... Outside of God in the Old Testament bringing forth judgment, the uh, early population growth starting with two individuals, Adam and Eve, and then downward, being married off. That is another popular type of thing that is um, somehow a stumbling block. It really shouldn't be a stumbling block to the gospel. It should not be. This is really silly. Out of ev everything he could pick, he picks this. You got Tower of Babel, Noah's Ark. You got snake talk. You got donkey talk. You got the resurrection. Um, all the revelation stuff, future stuff, which a lot of that is actually coinciding to modern times impressively um, just reading about chipping and stuff recently my goodness but anyhow Cain and his sister was okay well what on earth would your basis be for it being morally wrong it's just your subjective, arbitrary stance. If 99 out of 100% of folks in, let's just say, on Pluto, find it okay, 
would he align with that or wouldn't he due to peer pressure? Would he still say it's wrong or sick or disgusting or bad? The Bible starts out with Adam Eve at the head of the human population, humankind. Thus, everyone, no matter who you pick, is your relative. That is kind of weird, <laughs> but that's the case. He says, you are really sick to teach this to children. So, it's bad that that the offspring of Adam and Eve, spoken of in the Bible, got paired off and started to also reproduce. There was no genetic issues going on for it to be a problem. There is now, more so towards our time. Over time, genetic flaws becoming bad, mutations, and if you get too close to similar of information, it, the, the corrective measures can't fix because the information is so similar the, the same flaws will kind of overlap and it, 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 it would get even worse so the further we get the more genetic problems arise and probably higher frequency we're lucky to be here at all um, so that alone kind of undoes the secular view because we would have been wiped out genetically um, and still facing the future there's just genetic doom so a secular uh, time scale does damage it don't help um, but this guy because we got to play the same words, you know. He, he don't sound very tolerant. He sounds like an incest phobe. How do those labels work out when it's from the other side? Got to be a fair, fair playing field. But yeah, he, he doesn't pick anything about miracles. He, he, the barrier to the gospel for him is at the very start of the human population incest that is pretty bonkers to me the offer of eternal life for him resting in the balance and he's stuck on this I, I just don't get it I don't get it I don't get it. He says it's bad to teach that. Well, is it bad to teach history? The Bible being historical records, if you can see that for just a minute. Um, even secular time scale. Everything in the secular time scale is a you know, different time span, but similar parallel. Um, just not the monkey man type stuff. Um, that's the difference. The evolution type stuff. Um, the secular time scale you think about it. The first for Pete's sake, the first darn on the secular time scale. The first living organism would essentially 
have to have incest with itself and multiply and reproduce itself, let alone everything past that point, it's a parallel. So he's complaining about something that's within his own camp, but tons more of it, tons more of it. And excuse me, but what is wrong with animal offspring having relations, some sort of relations. There's nothing wrong with that. He's not complaining about the other animals. He's not complaining about the other animals reproducing from the same uh, matriarch and patriarch, the same uh, descendants, the same offspring reproducing. He's not complaining about that, but he's complaining about the Bible. It in the Bible. Totally one sided. And um, you are really sick to teach this to June. It's in the secular view. Why not highlight that? It's infinitely more in the secular view. So whatever first master organism, everything since then is after that one thing. So it's either Adam, Eve, or a singular uh, life type thing that came into being and everything based on that. So the whole entire thing is incest after itself. One giant incest tree. So, um, I don't see how this guy has an argument, considering all that. Why on earth would incest be wrong? Is it just subjectively wrong, or is it objectively hinged upon something? At some point, God put... The rule down genetically it causing problems but before that hunky dory hunky dory another question for him how close in the family line, would anything of the sort have to be to make it wrong? How far away would it be, be fine to make it right? How far, how, how close within a family unit, a, a family tree, to make it wrong, in his view? And on what basis? Why would animals engaging in relations be bad morally wrong why would telling animals why would telling animals about this type of thing be wrong Yet the PE system shoves a bunch of garbage. Stuff I didn't, you know, I would have never knew about. That I heard about in articles. The PE system. Shoving stuff into innocent kids' brains that they don't need to know about. How about we highlight that kind of stuff? And, you know, UK as well. Why would, you know, stardust, 
all this sort be wrong if we're mere stardust? Why would relations, stardust relations be wrong? Why would telling stardust about relations between uh, offspring be wrong? Um, God commanded to populate the earth. And they obeyed. So it's this inversion of calling it wrong when it was right. Um, and obviously one of the factors is uh, some like to try and smear the Bible to kind of make a straw man and scoff. Some some say the parent offspring thing was a thing, but nowhere is that mentioned. Adam and Eve got paired off, obviously. And then the offspring would get paired off. Um, so long as there were enough of both gender. And... Uh, on the Bible side, there's different, uh, people have highlighted different genetic bottlenecks, which uh, certainly could have done us genetic harm and lost a lot of extra information. Global Flood, Tower of Babel, and so forth. Um, it's most beneficial to marry further away genetically so that the mistakes are covered and they're not similar. Um, mutations are not a good thing. Mutations are often portrayed as a good thing, a great thing. Uh, Spider-Man and stuff like that you don't want mutations you don't want mutations it's not like that <laughs> um, and aging also affects uh, as far as I'm aware all this stuff aging also affects the information that you pass on so it's it's best to have offspring earlier rather than later um, it's more beneficial for them genetically. So, anyhow, I, I think this individual has nothing, a, a complete nothing burger of a case. He's complaining about something that's like a darn Mount Everest comparing a darn Pod to Mount Everest in terms of his view having much more of what he's complaining about in the Bible timeline on the Christian timeline so it, it's pretty impressive but alright now time for the good news now time for the good news I want to end this off so, I've had enough fun. 20 minutes of video. You got to be kidding me. 20 minutes of comment. That's a, uh, I don't I don't know what to think about that. My goodness. But anyhow, here's here's the offer I got like 20 years ago. I accepted. I didn't uh, I didn't understand the fullness of it. But uh, I would like to present it to you as well, to care about you in the self-same way that I was cared about. I want to care about you. That's, that's the goal. That's the whole goal. When you're over to eternity, hopefully. And, you know, we can have discussions, commas can be, we can have debate and comment, um, all that, you know, any topic, um, I'm fairly informed um, about different topics and all that. So, anyhow, let's end off. Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We've messed up. We're guilty. we got to ask for forgiveness. 
Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 5.8, But God demonstrates his own love towards us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10.9, That if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 5.1, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. If only, if only I had made a video every time I was tempted or caved into temptation, I would be very satisfied. I would be very satisfied. So, I want to get to 100, and then I want to take on, I, I don't know, I, I, I really want to take on I want to take on one of the biggest stumbling blocks to the gospel. And that is the evolution stuff. The Pokemon people. Pokemon people. So, I really want to deal with that. I really want to deal with that. I'm probably 3,000% unprepared. I want to try. I want to try. I want to try. I think I can. I think I can. Choo choo. So that's a classic. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. And uh, next time we hit 90. So yay. Um, so hopefully that is very, very, very soon. So. Thanks for watching. I will see you up ahead. And as always, take her cool.